Hello, it is the second week of January. Oh, time for me just feels like it flies by so quickly. I have two little ones at home. Today, I want to just check in and just see how you're doing. It's really the beginning of the new year still. So if you're still on track with whatever you feel you wanted to accomplish this year, awesome. Or do you already find that you're slipping into old habits already? Which happens. And I want to first say you're not alone. I remember going to the gym. I would actually, I avoid the gym now, first month of the year. But I would find the first week, maybe even the second week of January, it was packed. I couldn't get my, I couldn't get a locker. I couldn't, it was just, you had to share the machines. And then I just had to remind myself to be patient. And in a few couple weeks after, the gym went back to normal. Like it was pretty much the normal people and everything was back to normal. So if that's you, you know, you, you really start the year, like, this year's going to be different. I'm going to, you know, do this, this, and this different. And yes, and you're all excited. Awesome. Try and hang on to that. Um, but sometimes we try to do too much too fast. And then we get, we're so excited. And then we either fail or we, you know, maybe even just you slip. Maybe your whole thing is working out. And you maybe you missed a day or two. And then you're like, well, I missed a day. And then it actually can snowball into a week, a month. And then eventually it's a year. I've been there. Um, definitely last year was a challenge because I had, uh, you know, surgeries and different things like that. Actually, in like um, 2016, actually. So two years ago. And uh, it just, it can be a real challenge when, you're, when you have to stop. Or if you stop just because life gets busy. So today, I just encourage you to take a step back. Love yourself where you are, because that's really important. It is okay to make, you know, mistakes, slip up, not follow what you thought you needed to follow. And just take a step back. And then remember these things. Keep it simple. Start small, but act now. So it could be as simple as picking one thing in your life that you'd like to change or not even change. What would you like to experience or feel this year? I'm really all about that this year. What do you want to feel or experience? Is it just that you want to feel more joy in your life? Let's go with that one. Let's just say you want more joy in your life. So that's your only, only thing to focus on. Other than like your everyday going life, you know, with the kids and whatever else you have going on. The focus is, is what can bring you joy. And it's really, so that's keeping it simple. It's one thing. You're not listing off, you know, 10, 20 different things. So joy, what, what would that be? Is it finding half an hour in your day or 15 minutes in that day of something that lights you up? Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's joining um, a book club or even just being become a part of a, a Facebook group or is it going to Zumba finding some fun way and that actually can if you have a weight loss goal that can actually also help but that's not your focus your focus is joy and if you don't like working out then it's finding other ways to have that because your focus is joy so that's Keeping it, or that is, um, so it's keep it simple. Start small. So just find one thing. Don't go crazy. Just start with one. Maybe it's just finding 15 minutes in your day to do something you absolutely love. Maybe you love painting or writing or, or dancing or singing. Whatever it is that brings you joy, just find is you know, 10, 15 minutes, half an hour, whatever you can find at the beginning, and just start there. And you know, maybe in a couple weeks, check in, see, can you, can you expand that time? Can you look into a little bit more? But right now, it's starting small, one thing. And maybe it's, you love dancing and music, and you love to, to mingle with other moms and women, so Zumba might be it. But again, it's whatever you're looking for. These are just ideas. And then it's act now. Just do it. <laughs> when you're done with this video, go do it. Make a plan and execute it right now. No more waiting because when we stall 
then we don't do it. We look back and we're like, oh yeah, I thought about doing that a month ago or two months ago or three months ago. Or it could even be, oh yeah, I wanted to actually do that last year. So again, keep it simple, start small and act now. Just go do it right now. Whatever it is that you wanna feel or experience this year, figure out a plan. And if you need help with that, please come to me. I am there for you. And I just want you to have an epic 2018 or whatever word you've chosen for this year. And if you haven't chosen a word and epic feels like your kind of word, come join me on the epic side of things and we'll have a blast. I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a beautiful day and beautiful week.